It's round three, and our experts are going to answer two questions apiece, this time for $5 each. And while they're thinking of their answers, their opponents are going to bet on whether or not they know the answer. So if they get it right and their opponent guesses right, the opponent makes just as much money as they do. We're going to start with you again, Adam. You are still the player with the lowest score. Plenty of time for you. Here is your first question in round three, Adam. In the episode, The Financial Permeability, we learn Sheldon keeps all his excess money in a savings account, as well as in what two places in his apartment. Two places in his apartment. You have 10 seconds to think about that. Your opponents are going to guess whether or not you know the answer to this question. Look at Blake just checking you out, seeing if, you're, if there's a tell in that face. And now I'm going to ask you, Adam, are you both ready? Okay, Adam for an answer. I think one of them is one place is his desk drawer, and the other place is like in like a some superhero costume in the closet. Well, he keeps them, unfortunately, in a trick peanut brittle can with snakes and in the hollowed out buttocks of a Green Lantern action figure. So you, you, you were close there, not enough. Uh, Blake, what did you think? You said he'd get it wrong, Nam. You said he'd get it wrong. Each of you get five bucks. <laughs> and now we move to, uh, to, to you, uh, Blake, in the category of Super Bowl. Your first question. Blake, who is the only player in NFL history to win three consecutive Super Bowl titles, doing it in the early 90s with the Cowboys and 49ers? Ten seconds here. Nam's not even looking at you. Adam's not even looking at you. I don't care what fake face you might be putting on. Let's get an answer. Uh, Ken Norton Jr. That is correct. Now let's see what you said, Adam, how he would do. You said he'd get it wrong. Nam, you said he would get it right. Nam gets money and Blake gets money. Adam, you gotta start, <laughs> gotta start guess, guessing better. All right, we're gonna go to Nam now. This is your first question, Nam, in the category of the three Bs of classical music. What work by one of the three Bs is playing as Hannibal Lecter chews the face off the prison guard in the movie Silence of the Lambs? What work by one of the three Bs is playing as Hannibal Lecter chews the face off the prison guard in the Silence of the Lambs? Blake is just checking you out. Emotionless Nam is. He's not giving you anything, is he, Blake? Adam is just trying to get off the schneid here a little <laughs> bit. And are you both in with your guesses? Okay, Nam, what's the answer? Beethoven. What work we're asking for? Oh, what work? Yeah. But in fact, I'm just going to say, you're not going to get it by saying Beethoven. It was Bach's Goldberg Variations. Bach's Goldberg Variations. Adam? You thought he'd get it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and no harm, no foul. Nobody, uh, nobody gets any money there. And we come back to you, Adam. Here's a way you can make five bucks if you get this question right. Who is the only actor, Adam, or actress from the show to have a PhD in real life? Who's the only actor or actress to have a PhD in real life? Nam and Blake need to think about whether or not you'll get this right. Adam, we're ready for an answer. Mayim Bialik. Finally, Mayim Bialik is right. You get five <laughs> bucks for that. You said he'd get it right, and you said he'd get it wrong. So Blake gets five, Thanks you sure get five. A yeah. little confidence in Adam. <laughs> now we go to Blake. Blake, this is the second question for you in round three. Combining appearances as both a player and on a coaching staff, who has the most total Super Bowl appearances? Combining appearances of both a player and on a coaching staff who has appeared in the most Super Bowls. Nam is looking, Adam's looking, trying to figure out. And we're ready for your answer, Blake. As a player and a coach and an assistant coach too, um, Dan Reeves. The correct answer to that question, Blake, is Dan Reeves. Wow. You got it right. That's $5 for you. What do we have, Adam? Yes or no? <laughs> you said he'd get it wrong. Nam, you said he'd get it wrong. You, Nothing. You come out smelling like a rose, Blake. We go to the final question of round three. Still a chance for you to make five bucks here, Adam. Let's go, Nam. Here is the second question. When Beethoven's Seventh Symphony premiered at a charity event for wounded soldiers, it was presented with what other less known yet appropriate work of his? 
When Beethoven's Seventh Symphony premiered at, uh, premiered at a charity event for wounded soldiers, it was presented with what other lesser known yet appropriate work of his. They're checking you out. Don't answer yet. They have to figure out whether you know it or not. And now we want you to answer. Are you guys both in? Nam? The Mass. It's Wellington's victory. Wellington's victory. Adam? Yeah. There you go. Smiles, everybody. Smiles. You thought he'd get it right. Adam, you're the only one to make money in that one. We get back here for round four.